Hi everyone, my name is Julie, thank you so much for watching, and we're doing an update for my Disney animated project pan. <clears throat> Something got stuck in my throat there. The curator, the curator, what am I, back in the museum field? <laughs> in case you guys didn't know, I started in the museum field. Uh, I got my master's in history museum studies, uh, <laughs> side note about Julie. <laughs> So, this was created by Robin, and everyone will be linked down below who's involved. This is a huge collab. It is a fantastic ladies collab. Y'all know the deal because if you're watching me, you know the panning community. So, I have chosen and added in and decluttered from this. So, let's recap to where we have been <laughs> and what we're going to do moving forward. I've got, as always, my cheat sheet here. So you can see everything. I have decluttered two things. The Bobbi Brown Eye Crayon in this shade Shadow, and I've decluttered the Urban Decay Voodoo Eyeliner. Great. I've used up two items. I've used up the Blushing Sequence Lipstick by L'Oreal and the Lash Princess Mascara by Essence. Boop, boop. Okay. Whew, now that we've recapped, let's move forward, shall we, to see what I'm actually using now. Uh, where should we start? Where should we start? Okay. Everything in this project had to do with Disney in some way. And so I went through my collection, I found this Lorac blush in the shade Cinematic, and I was wondering if it's good enough to keep in my collection, because it really is a fall winter shade, so I want to start using it. And also, I, didn't, I haven't really used it all that often, and I am proud to say, yes, I want to keep it. It is not what I have on today, because I've got the other blush in this project on. However, this is beautiful. This is so nice. It is not so pigmented that you look like a clown, because this color, if you put too much on, you're gonna look crazy. It's great for medium skin tones, it would be great for a deeper skin tone. If you use a light hand, it's good for my skin tone. You can't even tell I've been using it, but I promise I have. Um, my goal is just to see if I wanted to keep this or not, and I know I want to keep it. I really like it, so technically I'm done with that one, but I'm gonna keep it in this project, because I want to use it. Um, the other Lorac product is this behind the scenes eye primer because again, movie theme behind the scenes. And I'm making pretty good progress on this. I was there at the beginning project last month, this month, and it's pretty steady. I've got, what, three more months to use this. This ends end of November, so hopefully I can finish this up. It's just a little trial size. It's the one that comes with all of your Lorac palettes you ever buy. So I have to clutter the other one. It's not my favorite. And the reason why it's not my favorite is the tip is super messy. Like, there's a little divot in there, and I know it's probably to, like, apply to your eye, but no, I apply to my finger and then tap on my eye. I don't, oh, no, it's okay. I just can't get it clean, and that, for me, is a no-go. The other blush, and the one I'm wearing today, isn't that pretty? I'm so excited. This is e.l.f. in the shade Twinkle Pink. That I don't know, I don't know what type of blush this is, but it's just the one that looks like that. First thing to note, it's powdery. It's very powdery. Second thing to note is there is a gold shimmer in it. I was told that this was a dupe for NARS's orgasm. It's not, by the way, it's not. I've been told and no, mm -mm, I don't think so. NARS is more peachy tone. This one is a lot sheer in the pink side, but they both have gold glitter. So that's what I've got on today. I don't have any highlight on. It's just this blush and I do like it. It didn't show up on me in the summer, but I'm proud to say I've been using it the last month and that it shows up on me now, so yay! And now the sun is coming out! Why? But why? <laughs> ah! So this is another one. I'm, I don't know if my goal is to hit pan, but I just want to use it. So I'm calling that a win! Yay! Uh, and Twinkle Pink for Tinkerbell. Because she twinkles. I don't know. Just, mm. Okay, so this truly is Disney. This is the bronzer I picked up. Um, from Walgreens, and this was part of the Pocahontas collection. It is the compass that is in the movie. And I did want to hit pan on this. And the, the leaf is almost gone. <laughs> I've got it on today on my forehead, on the back of my cheekbones. Um, I am not focusing my brush, and I think it's causing me major issues. I literally take a big fluffy bronzer brush and I go floop in a circle, and I'm just evenly wearing down the. <laughs> This is bad panning. Bad panning. Bad Julie. <laughs> um, so I just need to focus. I'm thinking about focusing on this side, but I just need to figure out which side of the pan I want to focus on so I can actually hit pan on it. Because uh, 
much product is in here? 13 grams of product. How much? Just for argument's sake. Oh, it doesn't say on that one. Let's go Lorac. 4 grams versus 13 <gasps> Ooh, buddy. <laughs> so, but I like it. I'm going to keep it. It was like super cheap too. I think it was like 5 $6. And I thought it was great. I mean, it blends out really nice. It's not super pigmented, so it's like a buildable style. I don't know. Uh, one product that I'm almost done with is this one. This is La Vie Est Belle by Lancome. This is my little rollerball fragrance. And last month, you can see I was up here. Now I'm all the way down here. <laughs> so if you subscribe to my channel, it'd be like, Julie, you put in two other fragrances. I know, this is why. <laughs> Um, I really like this fragrance. I'm wearing it today, and it smells so good to me. It is a sweet floral scent. You do have to like floral. Floral is the main note, but it has this vanilla base note to it that just smells so good, and I think it smells mature. I think, uh, you know, it just, it meshes with me. You know, it's one of those things that just meshes with me. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'll be finished this with soon, very soon, um, probably what, one more week. I'll be done with this. Oh, I got a little something on there. That's okay. One more week I will be done with this and I'm looking forward to that because I can move on to all the other fragrances, including another one I put in this project. <laughs> I'm just powering through fragrances lately. Like I'm feeling fall. I'm wearing more layers. I mean, look, I have long sleeves on and so I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling it and that's okay, right? Put a little extra, a little extra spritz on. Um, for... The NYX Glitter Face and Body Glitter, it's what I've got on my eyes today, actually on my lids, I've got this glitter on because right before I sat down to film I realized I hadn't worn this all last month. <laughs> so this is the first time I've worn it in a month and this is in the shade Ice. This is for Frozen of course and I'm still at the same level because I only wore this one time. Whoops. Uh, hopefully I remember to work on this a little bit more moving forward. You know, it's just not like a everyday thing to wear glitter, but today I am, and I feel actually really good about it. <laughs> I really like this glitter. It's not, you know, you're not really supposed to use those as eyeshadows. It's his face and body. However, I use the next glitter glue. I put it on, and I think it looks great, and it's a little more subtle. It has, it's like a white to green shift. It's probably not that subtle, but I think it's more subtle. <laughs> I just really like it. So, moving on. <laughs> I have the lip gloss in this project. This is the Rimmel London Show Off Lip Lacquer in the shade Out of This World for Buzz Lightyear and Toy Story. And this is where I was last month. This is where I am this month. And you might be like, Julie, why don't you mark it lower? Because I think that there is still product higher up. I just think it's not going, I mean, like, look at that gap. That gap looks like I'm back up here, but I know I'm lower than that. So I just think it's settling funky. So I put myself there to not like shoot the moon here, but this is going well. It sounds weird to say that because it doesn't show much progress, but I probably used this like six or seven times this past month. And I'm not worried about finishing this up by November. Like that little bunch of gloss <laughs> will take me no time at all. I just need to like focus on it more instead of just dicking around with other stuff. Like all the other lip products I'm trying to finish this month. If you haven't already checked out my 2018 and 18 lip products, what promo? Uh oh, oh, shameless plug. Uh, check it out because I'm trying to use up a lot of lip products. And because I'm so close to finishing some, that one's kind of been a little bit more on the back burner. Oh, I feel so talkative today. Do I feel talkative today to you too? <laughs> this is a product I put in last month, but you didn't see it because I put it in after I finished that video. This is the NYX. Professional Makeup Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder, and this is in the shade Snow Rose, and I put this in because of Snow White. I realized I didn't have anything for Snow White, which to me is just ridiculous. I mean, you have to have Snow White, right, in any cinematic Disney project pan. So this was brand new when I started. I've got, you can see the usage right in the center there. It's not a dip yet. Distinctly not a dip yet, <laughs> but uh, I am using it. I'm going to hopefully hit pan. If I focus in just the center part, I'm hoping to 
to drill a little hole down to the bottom pan <laughs> on this product, as opposed to the bronzer, which I'm just trying to use up all 13 grams of it in one use. How much does this, by the way? Just for argument's sake. Oh my gosh, there's so many words back here. Duh, it's on the front. This only is six grams. Six grams, so this is half of the blush. Less than half the blush. Mm, that should do something. Okay, because I thought this project might be getting kind of boring because I just have big products in here. You know, I've got two full-size blushes. I've got a full-size bronzer. I've got a full-size highlight. I didn't know if you would still be interested in watching if I wasn't actually using stuff up. So I put in two new products. So that brings my total up to 14. You're only really supposed to do 10, but like I'm a cheater. So I'm doing 14 to hopefully hit my goal on 10. Yay! <laughs> so two have already finished up. I got eight more to go. So I got a big challenge ahead of me. Um, I don't count the ones I decluttered, by the way, because I didn't use them to my goal. So the first one is, yes, a fragrance. As I told you before, <laughs> I'm on a fragrance kick. This is... Taylor Swift Wonderstruck, and this is the Enchanted scent. That's what she looks like. You might remember if you've been around for since the beginning last year, I had another one of these, a purple one, and I used it up. This is all I've got left of the red one, and this will take me less than a month to use up. So hopefully when I finish up the Love VS Bell, I'll go straight to this one, use, 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 and it's out the door. So that's the goal of it. The other thing I met, oh, and Enchanted because of the movie Enchanted. <laughs> um, and then I've got a Pacifica eyeliner. This is the eyeliner I have on today. This is in the shade Fringe. This is a deep chocolate brown. It is matte right there. It's a super creamy eyeliner. I'm really enjoying it, actually a surprising amount, like a lot. I'm really enjoying using this. And it is in the shade Fringe. And I chose this for the movie Moana. I am not as familiar with the movie Moana. I've actually never sat down and watched it like in a quiet space. I've always watched it with like a lot of children around. <laughs> but I don't know, grass skirts. They didn't really wear grass skirts because it's not Hawaii. I know that it's Polynesia, but like maybe because coconuts have fringe. I don't know. I just went with it. Fringe, fringe. So there we go. Those are the two products I am adding in. We are now to 14. Thank you so much for watching. Check down the down description bar, down bar, whatever that is down there, below my face. <laughs> and you'll meet all sorts of wonderful women who are also into project panning. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.